Hey guys, what's up? It's Fernie Mac here with some more guitar lessons, and today we're talking about the one scale that every guitar should know. From any kind of music you play, jazz, rock, blues, classical, metal, this scale can be endlessly useful in writing licks, soloing, you name it. It's called the pentatonic scale. You've probably heard other musicians mention this scale. It's like the Pete Davidson of scales in that it's been in everyone's mouth. It got the name penta, meaning five, as there's five notes in this scale, contrary to the major scale, which would have seven notes per octave. Like I said, the scale is endlessly useful no matter what you're playing. It's just so tasteful, like the lyrics Emo Girl by MGK. So let's learn a little bit about this scale and dive into the big, scary world of music theory. Everyone's favorite subject. I know it's sure mine. First off, there's your major and your minor pentatonic scale, and you should know what key you're in to know which scale you want to play. Oftentimes, it's the first chord in your progression, which is your tonic chord, or your root chord. The tonic chord establishes the tonal center and creates a resolution in the progression. has that nice resolving sound. So using the relative pentatonic scale will make for great improvising or soloing. For example, if you're in the key of C, C major, uh, you would use the C major pentatonic scale. That sounds like this. Um, with the three root notes being your C on the eighth fret, of the E string, the 10 on the D string, and the 8 on the E string. Those are your roots, so that's where you're going to want to resolve when you're soloing. So the scale tones are your major triad tones, the 1, the 3, and the 5, and common extensions, which is the 2 and the 6. And those are the five notes in your pentatonic. So why do these notes work? Well, for instance, in a major triad like the C, C, E, G chord, the fourth is a half step above the major third. Your major third being the E. Fourth is an F here, and that just creates a dissonant tone. That's why we admit it. See, that sounds a little dissonant, whereas when you play the major third, the E, it sounds much more natural. Using the pentatonic uses the most tasteful notes of the scale and really helps you make some nice solos. In other words, it's just a tasty shortcut. So there's a few ways you can think about constructing the scale. One of them is if you take consecutive pitches from the circle of fifths, then you put it all into one octave and rearrange it alphabetically. I know that sounds a little confusing, but um... Starting on the C, you would have C, G, D, A, and E. If you rearrange that in order, it's C, D, E, G, A. C, D, E, G, A, C. One, two, three, four, five. Back to your octave. Uh, another way that you can think about it, and this is probably the easiest way, it's how I commonly think, is uh, starting on your root note, you have the one, the two, the three, uh, the 5 and the 6, omitting the 4th and the 7 tones of the scale. Here's where you can practice the pentatonic scale, alright? So there's 5 shapes that all connect up and down your fretboard. Um, I'll just put a picture here of the 5 shapes. And now, I know that's a lot to learn when you're first starting, it's a lot to memorize and think about and all the notes and everything. Um, so, what I would like you to do is to memorize two of these shapes, okay? Those two shapes are going to give you easy access to the major and the minor pentatonic scale starting on the root note. Starting with the A, the A minor pentatonic shape, root note, fifth fret, E string, your A. Going up from there, it looks like this. And coming back down. And uh, your three root notes are your A here, your A here, and here. 
Alright, those are where you're going to want to resolve if you were in an A minor key. Okay? Uh, and connecting to this scale here, you have your C major pentatonic scale. Now, the reason these are similar is because they actually both use the exact same notes, just have a different starting place. With your C major pentatonic scale, you will start here on the 8th fret of the E string, that is your C note, and you move up like this. Now pay attention to your root notes and know what key you're in, so you can make your solos better. What you can take away from this lesson is I want you to practice those two shapes that I just showed you, the A minor and the C pentatonic scale, and you should put on a YouTube jam track in either one of those keys, and just play along, improvise, solo, have fun, start making music, you know. Having fun is probably the best way to learn and to improve, so yeah, really just let loose and don't judge yourself too hard if you mess up. If you have any questions about the info in this video, leave a comment, I'd love to hear from you. And uh, remember, knowledge is power, so keep practicing, studying, and uh, it will pay off. Uh, that's all from me today. I'm Fernie Mac, and I will see you guys in the next video. Alright, sayonara. <laughs>